Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Captain Nemo. Welcome to another Rogue Company video. Today, we're going to be discussing Dima. That's right. This is an in-depth guide sort of on Dima and what he's all about. We're going to talk about his characteristics. We'll talk about the weapons, the perks, the specials, how he works in a team-based environment, and what kind of a player or what kind of a skill set you sort of need in order to play with him really well. Not only that, I'm going to include a full round of me playing with Dima, and somewhere in the middle of this video, I'm actually going to give you some uninterrupted gameplay of just Dima without me talking, so you can get kind of a better feel for the character, for the rogue, and if you like them. As always, all of this is going to be chaptered down in the video below, so you could just skip to whatever section you would like if you wanted to do so right now. And don't forget, I have a whole a bunch of Rogue Company videos on all kinds of different characters, guides. I have it all. I will link that at the end of this video. You should definitely check that out if you're interested. All right, so now let's talk about Edema. What is he all about? Well, he's mostly known for his explosive personality and the liberal use of explosives. Basically, Dima likes to blow stuff up. He has a really good special ability. It's called Merv Launcher. It basically is a devastating cluster grenade launcher. It takes a whole bunch of little grenades and you can launch them in a specific area and it works really well to clear it out. Like in the situation of a strikeout, when there's a team was holding up a certain area, like in the building or something like that, you can throw that down and just blow everything inside of it up. It works really well. It's a good, really good ability for yourself and for your team if you're going to be entering or pushing a certain area. He works really well. His passive ability is enemies you down or reveal to your team for a short duration. So that works really well as well. If you're by yourself, if you're coming from a corner, you take someone down and the entire team knows where you take them down. I like that ability a lot. Demon comes equipped with two different assault rifles and you really get to choose which one you want. A KA-30 and the Mamba. A KA-30 is an automatic AK style assault rifle, something that I prefer. That's what you see me using in this match right here. But he also has the Mamba, which is a burst fire assault rifle. I don't really like it, but some people do. They may be into that sort of burst fire thing. Not me. I like the KA-30. He also comes with the Executioner, really good pistol, a throwing axe like a tomahawk. Really cool melee weapon. I really like it. EMP grenade and a regular grenade. So he's a, a good force. A lot of, like a little arsenal of stuff that you can really go in and push people with. You have two assault rifles to choose with. There's a throwing ass EMP and regular grenade. You can push stuff. It works well, especially with the special that he has going on. He comes with a variety of different perks and they're actually, he, he's perked really well. I think this is actually where he's shined. There's a lot of different ones, but Live Drain and Replenish are two of my favorite ones that he has. Live Drain is when you down an enemy, it heals you for a significant amount for a short period of time. And the other one, Replenish, when you down an enemy, it reloads all your guns and, and that are currently equipped. So that's a really, really good perk. In other words, if you're going to be pushing a team and you're going to be encountering a few of them, more than one, these two perks together are fantastic. Because as soon as you down someone, you get your health back and you get your ammo back so if you down one person you can switch over down the next person switch over down the next person switch over as you saw in this video a lot of the times i'm pushing an enemy and I'm, I'm pushing the entire team and holding him and those two perks together work really really well now if you guys have some other ones too like he can uh, increase reload speed and increase weapon swaps so that's a really good one and a few other ones the perks is really where Dima shines i love these together especially with his special that he has too to push and the grenades really the force to reckon with i really like dima so if you combine all of those things together along with the weapons and the abilities and the specific type of player you can really benefit from being on a specific team but dima is a really really good player to play alone but he's also a really good player for a team honestly i think it's one of the best balances in the game so far i haven't played with all of the rogues yet but as i'm playing with the main ones the ones that you get from the start dima is probably the most balanced when it comes to that whether you want to be a lone wolf and go in like rambo and take the entire team down or you want to play in a team-based environment where you're holding an, uh, you know, you're holding an area and being really helpful to your team, as you can see me doing right here, just kind of being the heart of the main push, holding that whole thing. That's another really good way of doing it. If you want to pair 
Demo works really well with Anvil and Trench, in my opinion. Or if you're pushing, it works really well with Ronin. I so far have dealt with that. Now I'm going to give you a lot more combinations of Demo and how he works and all of that as I'm trying to test this. Remember to stay tuned to this channel. So smash that like button and subscribe. Turn that bell on because I have a lot more stuff coming for you. A lot more guides coming. I'm going to be really excited for that. Also, make sure to follow me on my Twitch and my Twitter because live stuff, a lot of things you don't want to miss out. As promised, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you some uninterrupted gameplay of me using Dima and showing, you know, well, you be the judge of whether I'm showing people how to work with it or not. Make sure to comment down below and tell me if you're playing this game. And if you are, I would love to be friends with you so we can play together. That would be really cool. You could even make it into one of my videos, maybe. Who knows? That's really exciting. I'm also going to link a whole bunch of videos that I promised you at the beginning that you should definitely check out if you're interested in a rogue company. I hope you enjoyed this video the rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next one. Seconds remaining. Not much longer. Get me up. Ten seconds remaining. We've almost won. We have control of the objective. Defend it. We've destroyed the enemy force. Nice work. Objective acquired. Defend it. Just one more round. I love these things! Five lives left. Let's make them count. I'm down.
I can't do that. Five seconds remaining. Enemies have control of the objective. Capture it. Enemy spotted. Forty five seconds, and this one's ours. I'm down. Win. Keep it steady. We have control of the objective. Defend it. We've destroyed the enemy force. Nice work. <laughs> 